But this document is mainly for governments or more broadly policy makers. We believe that such a reflection on what they've been able to do in order to support the development of the wind and solar market can help them, can guide them to determine what to do best in order to support the aviation sector decarbonization. When you look at the wind and solar energy sectors over the past 30 years, they have achieved significant growth due to a strategic mix of technology push and demand pool policies. Thanks to that, this growth has driven innovation, investment, cost reduction, and more generally, the widespread development, deployment of those technologies, making solar and wind viable alternatives to conventional fossil fuels. In this document, you'll have access to read different lessons learned, but if I can quote um, just a couple of them, probably the first one is the importance to remember that no country should be left behind, so it is highly important, and the wind and solar are great examples of that, to include developing economies in the transition of the sector. Another lesson learned is that all supply chain stakeholders need to be subjected to predictable, long-term and as harmonized as possible set of policies. And maybe, last but not least, it's important to consider the sequencing of the implementation of the different policies that government will hopefully come up with to support the decarbonization of the sector. Indeed, the wind and solar sectors allowed us to understand that starting with technology push policies is actually a very efficient way to boost the creation of a market and then governments tend to develop demand pool policies a bit later on but this sequencing is a great lesson learned. The key message is really to highlight the fact that when governments want to develop specific policies to support the creation of new energy markets, they actually have the power to do so, obviously in great collaboration with all supply chain stakeholders. But they do have this power to make it happen and it's not only about financial support.